Hi guys, let's go ahead and get started with the comparison chart now, okay? So we just looked over these important concepts. So let's look at the negative side first and just sort of understand or maybe predict what we're going to see. So, David, we talked about social divisions. What kind of social division do you think we might talk about here in this passage? Uh, maybe social division because of brand? Because of brand. So maybe give an example. Okay. Like, I like Nike. But I'm the only kid in my school that does. So what would that mean? Bullying and suicide. Oh, maybe I might suicide myself or commit suicide, okay? That would be a bad thing. Man, the second one, ethical issues with these big brand companies. Remember the picture we saw with the businessman with the money behind his back? Why do you think that happened? Uh, because he probably did something illegal. Very good. So maybe we might see examples of illegal, illegal things. Excellent, that a businessman does. Very good. And then it's people spending too much money. The picture we saw here was a lady carrying all the shopping bags, right? So, David, why do you think people might spend too much money? Um, maybe they have a mental sickness? They may have a mental sickness. Maybe they're too sick about a brand, right? And too they, much money. Or they have too much money. So we might see reasons why people spend too much money here. All right? So let's go take a look at the positive side, too. Excellent job, guys, going through both the positives and negatives. Now, what I want you to do is break off into groups. How about this? Min, you and your partner... You work on the negative effects, okay? So all I want you to do is find information that supports these ideas here. And then David, you and your partner, you work on the positive effects, all right? I will give you about five minutes to do this. So I'll pull up the timer and you may begin. Go ahead, talk with each other, talk with your partners and share your information. <laughs> Awesome job, guys, going through that passage. So I'm going to start on the negative side first with Min and his partner. So Min, can you tell me how the social divisions among consumers are caused? Let's take a look at what you put. So can you tell us how, Min? Um, people with brand names, uh, they judge and they mistreat other people. Can you give us an example, Min? Say, for instance, we both go to the same school, and you're with all the cool kids, and you wear Nike stuff, and I'm with the uncool kids and I wear Adidas stuff. What could happen? Um, I could probably bully you. You could bully me. What would you do? Uh, I would probably make fun of you for wearing Adidas. Uh, do you think this happens a lot in schools, David, in Korea? Yes, I get bullied all the time. Really? Why do you get bullied? Because I'm rich and I have nice things. Oh, so everyone's sort of like jealous of you, right? Mm -hmm. Does this only happen in schools, this bullying? What do you think, man? No, I think it happens other places. Other places? Can you maybe give me an example? Well, I know what happens um, at Cheongdam. Oh, at Cheongdam, right? So maybe not just in normal school, but in these hagwons or these academies, too. Very, very good. All right, we'll still stick with the negatives for a second. All right, Min, tell us also how are consumers distracted from ethical issues? Um, it says uh, their desire mm -hmm. to want brand names, it overpowers their morality. It overpowers mor their morality. Awesome. Did you, what is morality? Morality. Let me ask you this. If you see a very sick kitten on the ground, are you going to pet it and give it food or are you going to kick it? <laughs> what are you going to do? You're going to pet it. All right, because you're a man of morals. So morality is basically doing a good thing, all right, or doing the right thing. So, Min, that's actually a great example to put down. And we're going to actually watch a quick video about this. I want you to pay attention to see how Nike products are made. Lots of people buy Nike stuff, right? But I want you to tell me, if after, you're watching, after you watch this video, if you would still buy the Nike stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and watch this video. When you plop down in Tangerang, Indonesia. All right, so now that we watch the video, guys, I want you to tell me, David, what country do they make these Nike products? Indonesia. Indonesia. And man, how much money do they make? Um, I think a dollar twenty-five a day. A dollar twenty-five a day. Do you think that's fair, man, to make that little mint, little amount of money? Um, no, I don't think so. Man, you got some fresh Nike kicks on, right? Uh -huh. How much did your parents pay for those? Um, about a hundred dollars. About a hundred dollars, right? So Nike's making a ton of money. Now, man, those people are living in terrible conditions. Remember, what kind of conditions were they living in, David? Well, it's called sweatshop. It's a sweatshop. Do they have toilets in their houses? In the sweatshops? Not maybe a hole in the back. There was a hole in the wall, or not the wall, on the ground, right? So they don't have toilets. They don't have clean water. They have horrible living conditions, okay? Now, I want to ask you, why do you think those people live like that? What do you think, man? 
Um, maybe they have no, no other choice. No other choice, right? They have nothing else to do. They can't make money. Maybe they have families. David, why do you think they live like that? Uh, I think because it's just a very poor country. A very poor country. Great. Now, here's the grand question, right? Now that you know how these Nike products are made, do you still want to let your parents spend $100 for those shoes, man? Uh, yes. Yes, okay. So you fit the bill right here of what you said. All right? It overpowers the morality. You don't care that these people live in terrible conditions making a little bit of money. You still want the shoes. But, teacher, if they pay them more money, then wouldn't the shoes be more expensive? Oh, that's very possible as well, right? That's very possible. What do you think, David? Do you think the shoes would be more expensive? Yeah. Yeah? But I would still buy them. You would still buy them. So this is exactly what this is saying. The brand is going to make you want to buy it, irregardless of how you feel about how they're made. Awesome job, guys.